AC guy 1948 here. Sadly, this little Vimble gimbal by Fatech just wasn't working out. I'm going to return it for, uh, yeah, it just, uh, anyway, the one motor's getting super hot on it for no reason. The phone I'm using is not too huge, so, and it only runs for about five minutes. Anyway, not while you're here. You're here because you want to see about this Bauer Ultimate Vlogger Kit, smartphone vlogging setup. Well, I'm going to say the microphone, well, I don't have the little sock. There's a little sock that goes over it. I took that off hoping it would help it. But sadly, no. It is a powered microphone. It takes a battery. That you put in. Yeah, I don't like that either. That's not on there very well. What you put in here. But it's a... Uh, put that down. But it's a powered microphone. And I'm getting like little... You know, like electronic noises in the background. But if you're going to use it with a camera, that's what the powered bit's for. You have to flip it over to camera mode so it's powered. Otherwise, if you're in your phone mode, you just plug this into your phone. It's supposed to work. Um, but what I really like is this area light. You got three settings for it. You got a little power button here and a micro USB up underneath to charge it with. It does come with a micro USB cable. And also three little deflector lenses that can change the, the color you hold the light you got a low a medium and a high it really does a good job then you can put different well, providing I'm doing this the right way filters over it see it kind of gave it a bluish light Yeah, you know, more whitish than a red tint. Oh yeah, that red tint. I kind of like the look of that. So I'm a big fan of that. I think I am, however, going to do away with this whole arm because this arm here, your phone goes. Well, let me get my demonstrator. Your phone goes in here like that. This will fit an A32 Samsung, which is what I am using to record this with. This here is like a LG. I'm not even sure what it is. It wasn't very good. I wouldn't recommend this phone. I hated this phone. Kind of older, so I don't think they really sell them anymore, which is good. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to figure out some way to take this light and it's got where you can mount a GoPro on here. And actually in the handle, it comes with a little screw thing. So you put that through and you can tighten it up. Well, I'm going to figure out some way to mount this over here. So all I got is this. And I have to mess with this big arm, carry it around, and make everything awkwardly heavy to one side. But it does... Well, that kind of goes into my next point. If you're doing uh, YouTube shorts like I've been doing a lot of, you can do it in portrait mode. Have it vertical, which is a nice feature. I don't like this ball. I'm a little concerned as to how well this is going to hold up. That's another reason I'm wanting to take this arm off. It's just a little weighty. <laughs> you got this little twister here so you can choose whether you want the legs to come out like that see look at that that's just all right if it's up it's okay or you can have them come a little further out you have to have it in so you can go out a little bit wider and you have a better stance also depends on what you're trying to mount this on top of that's just great yeah, we'll take that off there. We're going to take that arm off there. This comes in a couple sections. This here will actually go in the handle. This, however, will not. That unscrews off there. This here's got a little screw that you just you slide that in and tighten it down. Got a little slide there. 
the microphone. We're not even going to bother with it anymore. This whole arm, I don't think I'm going to deal with. Your phone holder, once you take it off, you can slide it in here in the handle and then click it down in this little tab. Same thing with your GoPro handle. It will also fit just like that. So all this can fold up in a nice neat package. Also, this here does have a remote. Not only can you use this Bluetooth control to hold that until it turns on, your phone will find it. And you're supposed to be able to sync it up with your camera app, but I haven't been able to get my camera app to work with this thing. So far, all it wants to do is act as a zoom in feature. Yep, see right there, a zoom in feature. This should be stopping the recording. So, um, yeah, that's not what we wanted. Actually, let me fix that. There we go. We're back out where we want to be. But if you do want to use this and can get it to work with your phone, there's a little spot here in the bottom that you just push on. And you have this tiny little remote. So you can take that with you and it's Bluetooth controlled. So it should have a pretty good range. So you can just hit that and start your recording or take a still picture or zoom in, which mine seems to want to do with it. And put that back. You just click her in, maybe like that. So yeah, I really like this. This here seems to actually be fairly steady. I walked around the yard with it some and I'm pretty impressed. Um, you know, it's, it's not going to be as nice a quality as this thing that's actually moving, but I can physically aim this where I want to. And this thing's just kind of, uh, you got controls down here. You got a little joystick you got to try and mess with and a trigger you can lock on to what you want to look at this here. I can just move my hand and adjust. And honestly, I think this is going to be a lot easier and cheaper. This here's really about a hundred dollars and this here's about 41 I gave for this thing, this whole setup. And I think that's worth it. I'm trying to get better at YouTube here. I notice we're getting close to a thousand subscribers. So I'm definitely trying to up my game a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed with this little unit. I, I got to figure out some way to make this work on... This thing. Hmm. That's a little bit of a pain to get out. There we go. Got to be some sort of adapter that I can use. Maybe I could just thread that. Hmm. I'll think about that. All right, I think I figured it out. What we have here is actually a case for a knockoff GoPro action cam thing. I've only really done like two videos with this. That was that Echo Chainsaw. And I had to cut a hole out here because you couldn't hear anything uh, mic-wise off of it. So we're going to steal the mount. I had it kind of on a headband here for first-person stuff, but it didn't really work out. So I stole the mount off of that that goes to a little uh, threaded bit. So we're just going to throw that in here. Maybe. Yeah, it'll work. Like that. And then we'll put the light on top of there. Perfect. All right. Just like that. We've got that mounted up. That'll work out really well, I think. So I don't really know what else to say on this. So far, I like it. There's not a whole lot to go wrong with it. The light is a nice feature. And the microphone, as you're about to see, I'll put the sock back on it. Um, has a lot of noises in it, like staticky, electronic. I don't know. It just doesn't sound good, which is disappointing because it's powered mic. It's big, but it's just I may look into a different mic in the future, but Right now, I honestly feel my phone isn't terrible, but uh, I'm sure 
there are people that really like a nice quality mic. I'm trying to get better at this, but I don't have to be perfect in one day, you know. More stuff can come down the road. All right, and here's the external microphone. And here it is in a fairly dark area. We'll turn the light on. There's a wizard off there. Medium and high. That's pretty neat, but I like the light feature. That's definitely a winner in my book. All right, now we're outside. Give the bell a ring. Test this microphone out some. stable it is when I walk. It's a lot better than me just holding the camera, that's for sure. Got a video on moving that coming soon. Really, it's ready, but I can't give you guys everything at once. I think this is a little smoother than uh, me just carrying it. Here, let me grab it by the... Whoops. I'm just holding it by the phone now. This is... Maybe it's smoother. I'll grab the phone again. I don't know, I feel like I got more control over it. You can hear the birds in the background. I don't know what a good, I can start the mower up here and have a sound test of that running. Because the way this channel is, if that doesn't sound good, then, uh, you know, that's not very good for my channel. If the engine has a poor quality to it, we're up to 24.7 hours. Choke. Something is a mess. Rhino crank. Battery head? Surely not. Acting like it though. I know I shut the key off on you. Hmm. Well, while we're waiting on that to charge, I'm. Uh, this is how the microphone normally sounds. Yeah, that battery was dead. I guess I left the key on. I don't know why. Not totally sure, but. This is without the microphone. We'll plug it back in here in a minute and give uh, give that mower a try. Still waiting on that thing to charge. Let's go for a little run test just to see how stable it keeps it. Yeah, that's not too bad for as quick as I was going there. All right, let's give this in there a try. We'll turn this light on, see. Find out together how good this mic is on this try.
because earlier it sure didn't want to work right. Now it's possible there are settings in my phone I can mess with to try and adjust this mic right, but I don't know. Um, it would really have to wow me to want to keep this whole arm assembly and everything, especially when I have the light rigged up straight above the... I can just have this one simple thing to carry around and I have this big arm off to the side. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I will see you in the next video. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day.